Um, next is skills and talent, and you will know uh, more than I do about the gaps and the deficits. And of course, um, it starts with education. Uh, as part of that inquiry, we met with um, tech and other employers yesterday um, who just underlined those very serious uh, issues with the pipeline and um, that schools and colleges aren't currently um, all equipped to uh, meet the needs of the economy. Um, it, as an aside, education is still draped around uh, an original sin of academic selection. And, and the more uh, you, you see the, the problems and the societal issues that are that are flowing from that. But we need a radical uh, swerve towards um, tech skills, including, um, I'm beginning to understand, very real-time input from industry to make sure that those skills are very, very fresh. I think at the moment, literally, when you get good technology teachers, they're being snapped up <laughs> by, by the companies and we are losing those skills um, for education. Uh, we, we need to fix the flaws in the apprenticeship levy. We need to um, create a different pathways in, 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 into work that university at 18 is not the only path. I, I say this as, as somebody who took a year out that turned into a decade. I, I knew absolutely everything at age 18 and had no gaps in my knowledge, but uh, then uh, picked up later on from, from the open university. And I think people with, with the, the skills and, and the kind of speed with which people need to reskill are, are starting to see that there are other ways to, to get into your career. And that's not to, to, to write out or diminish the, the tremendous experience and the tremendous uh, uh, service and, and output we get from our universities, but I think um, that the pathways aren't um, as clear as, as they always have been.